Ever had one of those days where everything starts off great, but then it all just falls apart? That's exactly what happened to Max Verstappen and Red Bull on Sunday at Zandvoort. The team came in with high expectations on home turf, but things quickly went off the rails within the first quarter of the race. Despite grabbing the lead early, Verstappen couldn't stop Lando Norris from taking control. By the end, it was clear. Red Bull is in trouble, and Verstappen's frustration is boiling over. Coming back from the summer break, McLaren was on another level this weekend at the Dutch Grand Prix. Setting the pace in qualifying on Saturday, Lando Norris pulled off a dominant 22-second win over the home favourite, even after losing the lead to him at the launch. But given the run of form that the Papaya squad has been on lately, Verstappen was just delaying the inevitable. He couldn't hold off the Brit for long. By lap 18, Norris had surged back ahead with ease on the start-finish straight and never looked back from then on. Max Verstappen didn't hold back in admitting that Red Bull just didn't have the speed or performance to take on McLaren in the Dutch Grand Prix. With the stands packed full of his supporters, Verstappen was hoping to keep his perfect record at his home circuit intact, having secured pole and the win three times since Zandvoort returned to the calendar in 2021, but it wasn't meant to be. Verstappen and his sea of orange-clad fans were left disappointed as Norris proved unstoppable, finishing a full 20 seconds ahead of Max. We tried everything we could today, he said in the post-race interview conducted in Park Firm, but throughout the race I think it was quite clear that we're not quick enough, so I tried to be second. Norris's struggle with poor starts has been a recurring theme, and it seemed like it would haunt him again when he spun his wheels at the start, allowing Verstappen to take the lead into Turn 1. We had a good start, commented Verstappen. I know that we have good starts, so I was quite confident that we would have another one, and luckily it was like that. Then I just tried to do my own race. In the beginning, everything seemed to be going according to plan for Red Bull. Verstappen managed to pull away from the pack, keeping himself safely out of DRS range from Norris, his friend and rival. However, as the race progressed, it became clear that the Red Bull was struggling on its medium tyres while Norris was simply waiting for the right moment. After one failed attempt, Norris finally surged past Verstappen on lap 18. What really stood out was just how much speed Norris had over the Red Bull from that point on. Whether on the initial set of mediums or after switching to the hard compound, Norris was in a league of his own, leaving the Red Bull far behind. That was my race and that was second today, Verstappen said. But despite the obvious disappointment, he said there was no reason why the team should panic or be overly concerned by the way things had gone in recent outings. The last few races haven't really been fantastic, Verstappen acknowledged in the post-race press conference. So that I think in a sense was already a bit alarming. But we know that we don't need to panic, he insisted. We are just trying to improve the situation and that's what we are working on. The whole weekend has been the same, Verstappen said. I had pretty much the same balance from FP1 all the way to the race. I mean, the limitations are the same, so it's just very hard to solve at the moment. Something in the car has made it more difficult to drive and it's very hard to pinpoint where that is coming from at the moment, he continued. That is then hurting our one lap performance, but also our long run. It just seems like we are too slow, but also quite bad on tire deg at the moment. That's a bit weird because I think the last few years, normally we've been quite good on that. So something has been going wrong lately with the car that we need to understand and we need to quickly try to improve. It's just not a connected balance, front or rear. It wasn't there in the first few races, but something in the car has made it more difficult to drive and it's very hard to pinpoint where that is coming from at the moment. That is then hurting our one lap performance, but also our long runs. Red Bull is no longer the dominant force on the track, and that fact seems to frustrate Jos Verstappen more than anyone. He didn't hold back in criticising the team for letting their performance edge slip away. In an interview with Dutch newspaper De Telegraaf, Jos Verstappen bluntly stated, maybe I shouldn't say it, but I'm doing it anyway. The fact that you have to go back to the car from the beginning of this year says enough. Verstappen Sr. also criticised the team's current approach, adding, they just don't have it right here at the moment. I think they should take a good look in the mirror. Jos Verstappen acknowledged that the challenge is only getting tougher, noting, Max knew this was coming. He just didn't have a chance. This way it's going to be really tough the rest of the year. Despite the setbacks, he praised his son's efforts. Max is doing everything he can, but doesn't have the material to finish it. 
It was already exceptional that he qualified second. Boss Christian Horner has been warning for a long time that the gap was going to close, as Red Bull were closer to the performance ceiling of these cars than anyone else. Speaking after the Zandvoort race, he admitted that McLaren were in a different league. He said, we did everything we could, and Max converted P2 into a lead, but they were in a different league. I think we've learned a lot of lessons this weekend that have been really valuable, and that was a solid drive from Checo Perez. Time to digest what's happened here. Damage limitation with P2. While Verstappen still holds a solid 70-point lead over Norris in the Drivers' Championship, it's not the overwhelming dominance he's enjoyed in the past two seasons, and it's starting to look a bit precarious. The situation is even tighter in the constructors' standings, where Red Bull's lead over McLaren has shrunk to just 30 points, a gap that's far from comfortable. As F1 engineers might say, it's getting into squeaky bum time. So while there's no need for outright panic yet, the warning signs are starting to show. Even Dr. Helmut Marko admitted that today's race result was alarming from Red Bull's perspective. The team has to work harder and must find improvements, because like that his championship is in threat, Marko said recalling Verstappen's own pre-summer warnings. The updates have to bring an improvement. We could not keep up with the pace at all, Marko told Sky Deutschland. At the beginning the pace was equivalent, but then the tyres started to wear and you could see how easily Lando overtook us. And when Lando drives 113.8 on the very last lap without DRS, it shows that McLaren was clearly superior here. We also have to remember that Sergio Perez's last stint was faster than Max's. They were driving with different setups. Maybe it wasn't the right choice that we gave Max more downforce because we weren't fast enough in terms of top speed and it didn't help us in the corners. There is still a lot of work to do and this provides food for thought. Verstappen was heard complaining over the team radio about the car's behaviour during the race as he struggled to stay with Norris. Marco confirmed the biggest problem facing Verstappen during the race was his tyre life. The big problem was tyre wear, Marco stated. He started sliding and couldn't push anymore. But in the end, of course, he controlled the gap to the back. Up front, he had no chance. Adding to Service TV, Marco highlighted, We are clearly being beaten, so that is alarming. I do think it was partly down to the track, though. It was also about the relatively low temperature. And it was interesting that after the pit stop, Piastri drove about the same pace as Lando, and nothing worked when he was stuck behind Charles Leclerc. Unfortunately, that was not the case with Lando when he overtook Max. So there you have it. The Dutch GP has been a harsh reminder for Red Bull that their dominance might be coming to an end pretty soon. Norris's victory wasn't just a win, it was a wake-up call. The gap is closing and Red Bull knows it. Verstappen may still be ahead in the standings, but if the team doesn't find answers soon, their once unshakable grip on the championship could start to slip. The season isn't over, but the pressure is on like never before. Do you think Red Bull will find a way to hold on to their title for one more season? Or is this the end of the Austrian team's dominance in Formula One? Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with the latest F1 news.